<laughs> okay, so today my speech is not just a speech. My speech is a gift, a farewell gift to my dear friend, my cousin. So, Akasa, can you please come sit here? Kaka, you're wasting, you're wasting my speech time. <laughs> okay. Akasa, um, do you still remember how we first met? September, I went to NTNU Shida to post flyers in the hopes of funding my language exchange partner, Yuan Zhaohuan Huoban. And after two weeks of waiting pessimistically, just when I almost lost my hope, thinking there's maybe there's no foreigner want to know me, to know <laughs> such a funny guy like me. <laughs> I, I, finally, I finally received an email. And even now, I can still remember when I saw your name in, the, in that email. I was very confused. Kusua? Ousu Akia? Certainly it's not like, like, like that. But I didn't, know, I didn't know it's a he or it's a she. And for me, that was very exciting because it's the first time that I get to meet um, people from the internet, people that I've never met before. So, okay, let's take a pause here. Now, do you know why my title today is called You Never Know? Because, I, I know. <laughs> because now, when I look back on the day that I decided to find an LE partner, language change partner, when I look back on the day that I posted flyers in an unfamiliar campus, I'm so happy and so proud of my decisions and my courage. If I didn't, if I didn't do all those things, I would have never known how much fun and how much and how many great memories I'm having right now. And I would have never got to know a great, a great person, and she would have never got to know a greater person. <laughs> okay, back to the story. So a few days later, we met for the first time, and then we met for the second time, and the third time, and so on, and so on. And each time we met, we had a different topic. There was one that was about, what is my favorite, what is my favorite movies? Mine is Harry Potter, and hers, is Star Wars. Yeah. Why? Because she loves sci-fi movies. Yeah. And do you remember that last year there's a new, there was a new uh, Star Wars movie? And uh, she was really crazy about that. Every time we met, she was talking about that all the time. And every time when she asked me, John, have you seen that movie already? What? You haven't? Okay, our friendship ends right here. <laughs> there was another one that was about, what is my favorite country? Let's take a pause one more time. Let's take a pause one more time. Can you imagine the moment that your most favorite thing happens to be others most hated thing? <laughs> when I said, okay, my, my country, my favorite country so far is England. And she was like, she was like, I promise you, this is exactly how she how her face looked like. <laughs> what? I hate England! England is the most country it's the country that I hate the most. And as time went on, we get to know each other better and better. Well, at least that, that, is what, that, that is what I thought. Because I thought at least she knew me. I mean, at least she, know my, she knows my name, Zhang or Huawei. But that's just not the case. That's just not the case. Why? Because for almost three months after we met each other, she thought my name is Harry. <laughs> She had, been, she had been misunderstanding my name as Harry for three months. That's just unbelievable. And because I'm a such a nice person, and I forgive you. Me, John, as a John, not as a Harry. And this semester, I invited her to our club, which is why she's a, new, uh, she's a TME today. I asked her once, I said, how do you feel about our club? Do you, love, do you like the people here? And you, certain, you certainly don't need to improve your English. She said, she answered, oh, of course I love your club. I like the people here. I think they're all nicer than you, than me. Yeah. Well, I think the last one must, must, be a, must be a lie or a joke. But indeed, indeed, she has made a lot of new friends, like Grace, Julian, Judy, Bruce, 
Fadi, and so many, many people. And she even met a guy whom she thinks is the most uh, funniest, is the funniest guy she has ever met before, Chang Ting. <laughs> <laughs> she attended almost every meeting so far. Every meeting? Um. Have you lost one? Two, okay. And she was invited to be the language evaluator for three times. She went to my T-Factor. She even revised my uh, campaign speech for several times. But I want to say none of this would have happened if I didn't do all those things in the, in the first place. If I didn't want to find a LE partner, if I was too shy to post flyers, then we wouldn't have the then we don't, then we wouldn't have the chance to meet each other. And if you did then if you didn't decide to come to Taiwan to learn Chinese in maybe three or four years ago, we um, we would we won't have the time to the chance to meet each other. So for me, I think life is a combination of choices. Before we make our choices, we might have our concerns and our doubts. And if we don't dare to try, we will never know. How much, great, how much great memories we will have. I will never know you, and you will never know me. There are just too much that I want to say. There are just too much that Julian wants to say. But we just don't have, to, we just don't have enough time. Just like there are just too many great things, great places, great people in Taiwan, but you don't, just don't have enough time here. So when you go back to Chicago, please don't just miss bubble tea. Please don't just miss beef noodle. Please miss Julian, please miss Grace, please miss me. Because, yeah, please miss Judy. <laughs> because Judy will miss you, Grace will miss you, Julian will miss you, and I will miss you. Oh.